What up, guys? I was just messing around, and I thought I found something kind of cool, a little cool technique, so I thought I'd share it with you. And when I say I just found this out, I meant literally, like, I'm like, oh, that's cool, record, and here we are. So hopefully I'll mess up a few times, and you can see how I fix it. But here's the general th idea. Oh, why is it not playing from the beginning? Oh, here we go. Just a bunch of lines of a single text image. It all come together, just slide from the side, coming in. That was pretty cool. You could probably figure out something cool to do with that, so I thought I'd share it with you. All right, let's get to it. I'll start a new project. No, I don't care about that. Up in 10 seconds will do, you know, you only need five. 24, 1080. All right, there we go. All right, so first off, we'll make our text, which will just essentially be our mat for our scanning lines. There we go. And I'll just make this the right size. Center it up. That looks good. All right, so now we'll create our lines. New, solid, make it white, com size. And now we'll add a ramp, a colorama, and a grid. Sunder generate. I'm just going to turn that off. You could do, um, it doesn't matter what order you put these in. I'm only adding these, uh, the ramp and the colorama, because it's only the way it really works together. You can do it at the end, but I'll show you a way to do it. The make it at the beginning of the stack in case you need to. Uh, you can just go to grid and then change this to stencil alpha, and then same thing. So it doesn't matter what order. And I'm just adding the color runner just to add my own uh, way I want my text to look. And I just pull these handles out, and that's the look I like for this text. All right, so now we'll create our lines. So we don't want any of these uh, vertical lines. Yeah, that's the orientation I was looking for. All right, but we got to set this to width and height slider. And we'll change the width to 2,000. That's a safe bet. And click on the grid to get this little line here and zoom out and push this to the end. So that way we got no vertical lines. And the height, I feel it's starting with like 35 is a good idea. You can see how many lines in here. You get three lines to start with. That's how many they're going to be. I will change the border to one so they're very thin. So we got three lines that are going to come in first. And you could position this with that uh, where you want them anytime you want with this handle right here, just moving up and down. But right there is fine. So. Those are pretty much all the settings you want for this right here. And now we'll change this to, uh, we gotta put this solid below it. And we'll just call this lines. And Okay, now we just set the track mat to alpha mat. And now you see we have three lines of the text. So now what we'll do is, I'll just make this full size. Uh, just control click on each one and hit command D, duplicate it and then go to the bottom one and pre-compose it and I'm just going to call it one since this will be our first one we want to start then we'll go into our line and we'll change it and we'll make this the height 33 just like two lower than it was now I'll select those two command D duplicate it go to our bottom one command shift C pre-compose it call it two and you're just going to repeat this process this time we'll do three oh not 330 so you can see it's just adding in more lines, more lines. So select those two, Command D. Select bottom two, Command V. And this is just to keep it organized. So we'll be on three. I'm just going to kind of speed through these. Add a little more. And you just go whatever looks good. You know, like uh, add some to the top right there. That looks good. Command D. Fine. Let's 
good. No, we're gonna close this, call it five. Round six, lower this even more, get more in there. Command D. Actually, I'll show you if you mess up, if you uh, pre-compose these before you duplicate them, call this, this is the sixth one. Then you can just dive in, just double click on it and then duplicate that. Do your final one in here. And this one, don't go lower than three on this, because if you go lower, it's just going to be like a, it's a solid thing, basically. It's just a lighter color, though. So I'll go with uh, three. That way there's still lines. And I'll show you how to just fade them in. So then you can go to the seven one and then just pre-compose that and call it seven. And then just delete it. Close that out. So now we're back in the main project, our main comp, comp one. And then just drag the seven from the file into here. All right, so now we got them all into one thing. Now to make them come in, uh, Command A, and then hit P, and then click on the position. I'll add a keyframe for all of them, and then just move all the keyframes. Uh, if you want one second apart, do one, two seconds. I'm just gonna do a half second, so right there, and then put your play at the beginning, should be, and then click on the text, and then hold uh, Shift, so it locks it. And then I'm just gonna slide it over. And now we have an animation that just goes like that. Now I'm going to select all my keyframes. Just select a box, go down, valve, yep. Then right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease, just to make it a little smoother. Now I'll slide down to the bottom. There's a script that does this from Video Copilot like called the Singlitzer, but let's just do it by hand. So now we'll offset them, just line up the keyframes. Or you can maybe come in a little before, however you want. I won't stop you. Yes, those sound effects were necessary. Then just uh, Command A them all and then twirl up one tab and they'll all do it. So now you can see um, we got lines coming in. And since you couldn't make a smaller border and have it look good, it would be like a solid object just coming in. That didn't look good, so I figured fading it on was the better bet. So on the last one, uh, we'll just open it up. And we know it slides over at half a second. Since we just moved it over, we didn't start it at uh, the time. Like, we didn't start it at three seconds. It's, just, it's really starting at, you know what I meant, we slide it over. So we know it's already in position at half second, so we'll start it there, click on our lines, go to effect, and then we'll click on the stopwatch for the border. Then I'll have it a second fade, go to one and a half seconds, and then just crank this up until it's full. And that's it. So now when you go in here, it's all full. Just sit down, we'll do a RAM preview. All the lines come in and then it fades on. That was pretty cool, just, did I even say a sentence there? I was uh, pretty cool, probably said something like that. I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I'd share it with you. You can probably see the lines a lot better, we zoom in. So I thought that was pretty cool, so, um, thought I'd share it with you. Hopefully you can come with something cool, maybe some green screen footage that just scans in like a guy, hologram, something like that. Alright, I'm going to stop rambling on, and I will see you guys later. Peace.